All right, good evening. It is Tuesday, March 21st, and I'm doing a drive from my house here in Northeast Minneapolis with FSD Beta 11.3.2 um, to my parents' house in Coon Rapids, Minnesota. So we're gonna take a route we've taken from pretty much every 10.x build. Um, I don't know if I did this drive with 11.3.1, I don't know if I had time to, but. Um, right off the bat, just a comment again, the speed limit re remains to be wrong. I'm gonna mention this in every FSD beta video that I do in hopes that the team will finally fix it. But uh, for now, the speed limit remains incorrect in all residential roads um, in Minneapolis and St. Paul. It defaults to 30 when it should default to 20. So I have to, you know, every single time I engage FSD, it's one intervention right off the bat where I have to adjust the speed. All right, and this is a pretty tough unprotected left turn here. We are clear on both sides. The car rolls forward, does a great job. That one remains a big strength for FSD beta. I mean, since the later 10.69 builds that, um, unprotected left turn hasn't you know caused any issues for us even though it's been it's usually really busy um, it does a great job of peeking out even with poor visibility not getting us up too far out in the lane and going when it's safe to do so so the car let's see what lane it picks here if it's going to give me a choice or if it's just going to go to the wrong lane so i'm going to disengage here the car is trying to go straight through a right turn only lane So I disengaged there, sent the voice a memo to them. I'm going to actually follow up with them separately as well. Um, because this one has been broken now since the later 10.69 builds. Um, in 69.1 through dot three, the car picked the right lane at this intersection, which is 37th Avenue Northeast and Central Avenue, um, where it would get to the left lane, which is the correct lane to go straight. Um, and then as of the dot 25 builds, it went back to the previous behavior where it basically requires a disengagement every single time unless you're by yourself, um, which is very rare even at night on this road. It's a very busy part of town here. So um, the car continues to pick the wrong lane, continues to pick the turn only lane. And then now it's trying to get back over. I'm gonna cancel it, but you can see it still ignored that for whatever reason. Maybe it was too late on the cancel. Um, and you can see again, the car just goes over to the right for, for no apparent reason there. So I'm gonna also report that, like I said, I'm gonna be following up with the uh, the autopilot team on this one as I continue to do. Um, and I'll have a separate highlight video demonstrating this again. So, you know, fingers crossed that we'll see a minor release here, if not in 11.3 lineage, maybe 11.4 that finally addresses that intersection there. Um, continues to be a problem. And it, since it's so close to my house, it's really hard to have zero disengagement drives when that's the first you know, spot basically where it requires my intervention every single time. So they fixed that one. I'm gonna have a lot more dis zero disengagement drives here. Um, but until then, I'm gonna continue to disengage and report that behavior, so. All right, maybe about a one second, two second pause there um, at that stop sign, even though it was clear. Um, the person behind us definitely I don't think expected that and it's gonna get really tight up here Let's see how we do I'm gonna be covering the throttle here doing a good job so far Yeah, good stuff there um, It's getting less claustrophobic on 37th here because of the fact that the snow banks are finally melting We've had a lot of snow. I think it's like one of our top five winters so far in Minnesota. So the roads becoming a bit back to normal um, let's See how it handles this intersection here and kind of a weird behavior of turning to the right there. I'm not sure what it's trying to see or not. We're already like midway through the intersection. So odd behavior there. I'm going to report that one as well. Um, that's been a problem for pretty much all the builds. I mean, some have hesitated less than others there, but yeah, continues to you know, be a work in progress for, for that intersection. And that was the intersection of 37th Avenue Northeast and 5th Street Northeast. So good behavior so far here. We're using the shared vehicle lane, which is like a shared bike lane slash vehicle lane. A little jumpy on the throttle, but ultimately the car does the right thing. I didn't give it any throttle there. It did that on its own. So my only critique of that behavior is the car needs to stop a little further. Did the right thing. And maybe they're just kind of taking it one step at a time, you know, but we can get closer to that crosswalk 
is what I would like to see it do. And then once we're there, then we can kind of wait. And if we have to angle ourselves a little more to the right so the pillar cameras can see to our left, great. But um, good behavior there um, overall. It would not use those uh, shared... I'm having a lot of trouble with my GoPro here. Sorry again about that cutting out there. But uh, I was trying to say that the shared bike slash turn lanes were something that FSD would not use until version 11. It was something that they just started doing again. So happy to see the return of that behavior. I can't remember what build it was. I think it was maybe like 10.10.2 or one of those builds where it actually used those, but it was very jerky. So it's as smooth as it's ever been at using those. You know, again, some work for, you know, room for improvement, but overall, um, another nice positive of version 11 that I'm sure will get better as we go on here with this, um, you know, main version of code now that they're kind of using. Great job getting around that slower vehicle there in the right lane. It was going under the speed limit. Um, the car did a fantastic job of waiting until that white car, that white Cadillac in front of us, got past us. And as soon as it did, it got over. Um, the auto lane changes continue to be an improvement in version 11 overall. And I want to say they're a little bit better than they were in 11.3.1. So. So one thing I noticed that FSD still does that Navigate and Autopilot did is more than likely because of the map data. You saw that the car dropped the speed even though it was 65 and remained 65. It changed our offset and went back from 73 to 65. So it's kind of an annoyance every single time because people expect you to carry the same speed. So the car, for whatever reason, slows down in that spot. Um, I've checked open street maps you know, a bunch of different times the speed is set consistently on this stretch of road the same so I'm not sure if it's a different segment in Tesla's nav data or what but every time that requires a you know intervention for me where I have to increase the speed uh, limit um, just to make sure we don't disrupt traffic behind us that are following in this case kind of closely slow down here let this car in front of us seems like he picked the wrong lane so I'm just gonna be a good steward of the road there but he wasn't he must have been paying attention that lane is an exit only so um, you know one thing I would like to see as we move more towards autonomy sorry my dog is crying in the back seat but I, w I really wish that we would see the um, I detect the blinkers better on our turn signals on cars better and then adjust our behavior accordingly. We could have slowed a little bit had we known that person was trying to get in, but because FSD doesn't really respond to blinkers and turn signals yet, we can't do that behavior. So it would be something nice to see down the road. I know that's probably a lot of training data that I have to pull, but um, you know, that's something that would be really super cool to have down the road. All right, so we just exited uh, Highway 10, and we'll be making a left turn here onto Main Street. And one behavioral trait I'm gonna call it right off the bat that I've already noticed is a difference in version 11. The car stayed to the right line more because that left edge kind of drops off a little, little bit, right? And if you were to run wide there, it's gonna be very bumpy if you hit the dirt. So car does a much better job in version 11 of staying to the right as we come around that corner and staying closer to the inside line versus kind of going too far out to the left, which I noticed quite a bit with the version 10 code.
great job with the left turn there. That continues to do, that would be a good spot for FSD beta. Um, it was pretty good, honestly, with the, the recent 10.69 builds, no issues there. In previous 10 builds, it would cut the corner too much towards the inside and then put us in a bad spot if there were, you know, vehicles waiting to turn there. So, um, had seen none of that behavior at similar intersections with version 11, and that's another example of it, so. Again, really good, smooth behavior on as we decelerate here to make our turn. Another good you know, improvement with version 11 does a great job of going from the high speed to low speed transitions better than it ever has, especially when you're coming off the highway. On the city streets, it still needs some work, but in this specific example, it did a great job. So. All right, so we're making our left turn here. We had stopped a little bit there for that car, even though it was out of the way. So maybe a little too cautious on that. I'm gonna report that behavior. Um, the car was completely out of our path, yet we still waited for it there. So I think that maybe surprised the traffic behind us a little bit. They weren't in a hurry to get anywhere, so no harm, no foul, but definitely some behavior changes that need to be made with 11.3 or for the future builds. The car basically just is still, for vehicles that are cutting out, the car is a little too eager to slow down or stop for them, even though they're completely out of our path. So another example there of kind of some tuning that needs to be done still. And again, apologies, my dog is, is kind of losing her mind right now in the back seat as we're almost at my parents' house and she gets really excited, so. too far to the right there we got pretty close to that curb still maybe a foot or two to spare but not much room great job with the deceleration here Let's see how this right turn goes nice and confident I like it so we've got to our destination here so overall honestly a pretty darn good drive our only issue is that first uh, disengagement that we had the first and only off 37th um, and central there if we can get past that intersection this would be an easy zero disengagement drive for FSD beta. So fingers crossed to see some improvements there, but otherwise thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.